Eva, are you up? It's four o'clock. You really gotta get out of bed. Eva? Michael and Eva, leave us a message. Oh, it's really bright in here. I was up all night reading about yoga nidra. Interesting theories on what they call deep sleep. My eyes are bleeding. Maybe it's a sign. Yeah, it's saying shut the fuck up. Guess that means you don't want to come get breakfast with me. And why would I want to do that? Feel your body? Get out of this apartment? So I can sit there and listen to all your brilliant theories on how you're gonna beat sleep, do things no man has ever dreamed of doing, see the entire world. But yet, we're still in the same apartment. No fucking sleep chair, nothing. Not a goddamn thing. Yeah, well, at least I get out of bed and try. Your research team came up empty. So you fucking give up? Sit around and do nothing. You haven't showered in a fucking month. No wonder they cut your funding. This is disgusting. You didn't even start building the fucking thing. You're a legion sum. Three years. Put that down. Three fucking years of- But stop. It's a goddamn fucking joke! You need help. I don't need your fucking help! I don't need your help! Come on, Kolos. I'm sure Gutenberg or Jack Kilby hit a roadblock every now and then. Yeah. Maybe so. But you haven't made any progress in months. Eva. Yeah. Her mood swings have become completely unpredictable. It's become a chore just for her to get out of bed in the morning. And she's just distant. True. She is lost, but she is her own person. You must focus on your work. What you're doing is important. You want greatness. Conquer more than any king. Live two lifetimes. These are your words. In Greek mythology, the Sphinx sat outside Thebes and asked all the travelers who passed by a riddle. What goes on the four legs in the morning, two legs at noon, and three legs in the evening? I'm talking about changing the course of human history. You're asking me riddles. I have spent the better part of my years Searching for a way to extend life. But it is evening for me, my friend. It took me 
that long to realize that the big sleep is inevitable. Do not take that final nap with any regrets, Michael. You ever been? What's that? Bali. Ever been? Oh, nope. Just stare at the pictures. Why is that? Work, money. Sounds like it's time to get a new job. I don't have a job. The work I do is a calling. It's a way of life for me. I have a similar thing going on. I know. You know? <laughs> How's that? I've been to a few of your seminars, Dr. Leto. You're into neuroscience. Applied mathematics and computer science. I'm part of a research team whose main focus is on Alzheimer's. But your work on sleep could provide breakthroughs in brain degeneration. Not everyone agrees with you. They're morons. <laughs> you ever been to Bali? White sand beaches, crystal clear water, never ending sunshine. Not really my thing. <laughs> <laughs> I have this giant map of the world on my wall, and I put all these push pins to all the places I've been. It's a rather pathetic creature right now. I could squeeze in more traveling if I could say, get a full night's sleep in a half an hour. If you've been following me. We spend a third of our lives sleeping. That's 22 years. I could use those years back. Time that could be spent doing so many other things. Reading, learning, working, traveling. People would never be tired, never be lazy. The world's most brilliant minds operating at full capacity 23 and a half hours a day. This is what keeps me up at night. Then build it already. Building it's just the beginning. Actually getting it to work is the hard part. What are you waiting for? Lullaby and good night. The stars are shining bright. May the moon, silvery beams, bring you sweet dreams. Close your eyes now and rest. May your slumber be blessed. Sleep now peacefully. See heaven in your dreams. Lullaby and good night. 
darling sleeping I'll protect you from harm when you're waking